Hi everyone, over the next few minutes I'll be showing you how you can download a list of ticker symbols in a CSV file and import it into Optima. Now we do have a number of um, symbol lists already built into the software if you have the Optima symbol lists enabled on your account. That includes a, a number of indices around the world and the components, particularly the US, so uh, a lot of sector indices or ETFs and also um, Russell 3000, things like that. But what we can do is um, download a, a list of symbols that make up an ETF, for example. So what we've got here is the iShares SOX Semiconductor Index, or ETF. Um, that's been in the news a lot this week because it's reached all-time highs. So what we can do is, um, on their website here at iShares, there's a download button. I'm going to click that for Excel and uh, open that file. And this contains all the components that make up the ETF. Uh, for some reason, it pops up with that error, but we'll just click yes. I'm just going to drag this, make it a little bit bigger. So this is all the components of that ETF. Um, and all we need is column A for the ticker symbol. Um, but if you have professional services or enterprise services, we can also bring in the weighting. So how much um, does the uh, individual company make up in the ETF? Um, so I've got to enable editing. And all we need is, um, you've got to get rid of the first eight rows here. We just need it to start on the, the header row where it says ticker and name. Uh, for example, um, and I'm just going to keep columns A and D, which is the weighting, and delete all the rest. Now, that if we scroll down, there's also a, a couple of uh, symbols here, which are cash and other instruments, which we don't really need. So I'm going to um, get rid of them as well. So we, we end up with, uh, there's 30 companies that make up the ETF. Uh, the first row is the heading, that's why it says 31. Um, but now we can save this as a CSV file. So file, save as, I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Um, the name, I'm gonna call it Sox Holdings. And save as type, I'm gonna change it to CSV comma delimited and hit save. Because there's multiple tabs in this Excel, it's only gonna save the holdings tab in a CSV, that's that warning. So we'll just click OK, and then we can close that CSV file. Now what we need to do is go over to Optima and pull in that CSV file of symbols. So file, open symbol list, and then click on the new, CSV file, and we need to navigate to the desktop, which is where I saved Socks Holdings, and then click Open. Now, because I've brought in the fund weight, um, that's the green uh, column here. Uh, now we've got, we've got to tell it which is the, the symbol column. So if I click that blue symbol button there, and then the column, that will highlight in that color, and we can then add file. If you have trader services, you won't have the ability to bring in the weighting. So all you need is column A in the uh, in the CSV, um, just the ticker symbol. Um, click add file. And that is now our list of uh, um, companies in that ETF. So we can open as a watch list, we can add columns, um, for example, we can bring in, in that fund weight. So NVIDIA is the biggest component of the ETF at nearly 9%. Um, and we can open this as an RRG, for example. So this is benchmarked to the S&P 500 by default, but we can change that to the actual ETF. So comparison index will change to the SOX. And that is now um, an, e uh, an RRG relative to the ETF itself. So you can immediately see um, the relative strength of all those companies within that ETF. Hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks very much.